Thank you for joining us at XM.com for the Daily Market Comment for Wednesday, May 18th by Raf Boyajian. I'm Cristina Marujos. An upbeat set of economic pointers in the United States boosted sentiment on Wall Street on Tuesday, suggesting that financial conditions have yet to substantially tighten following the start of the Fed's normalization process. Retail sales grew by 0.9% month-on-month in April, led by a big increase in automobile sales, while industrial output also rose by more than expected. Whilst the robustness of the U.S. economy is encouraging, it does also imply that the Fed will probably have to get even more aggressive to get a grip on inflation. Speaking on the topic yesterday at a Wall Street Journal event, Fed Chair Jerome Powell said we'll keep going with rate hikes until we get as far as we need to get on inflation. This was probably Powell's most hawkish remarks yet, but the markets appear to have taken his comments in their stride. Investors are betting that U.S. inflation will start to moderate in the coming months and the Fed will revert to rate hikes of 25 basis point increments by the autumn. However, it may also be the case that Wall Street is long overdue an upside correction after a six-week-long sell-off. The S&P 500 rallied by 2% and the tech-heavy Nasdaq Composite performed even better, closing up 2.8% and extending this week's impressive rebound. Futures were a little softer today and European shares were mixed, but there is definitely no sense of panic after Powell's very hawkish tone. In FX markets, the yen edged up and risky currency slid sharply against the US dollar, pairing a big chunk of Tuesday's gains. The greenback bounced higher from more than one-week lows against the basket of currencies in spite of Treasury yields easing slightly on Wednesday. The euro fell back towards $105, while sterling slipped below $1.24. The UK's consumer price index surged by 9% year-on-year in April to a 40-year high, marginally missing expectations as energy bills jumped. After yesterday's strong employment numbers, it's disappointing that sterling hasn't been able to build on its gains on the back of the positive data. Renewed Brexit tensions could be weighing on the pound, but it's likely to be more of a dollar story, as the U.S. currency has the upper hand today. This was the Daily Market Comment. Thank you for watching at XM.com.